place called Iskal, Iksal. Uh, it's an Arab Israeli community. And I think that Israel as a country has a problem. Not a problem. It's not a problem. You have peoples within a people within a people living in an Israeli state. It's the country of Israel. Yeah, you have the Palestinian people that identify themselves as Palestinians. Some Palestinians Israelis, some just Palestinians. It's a problem when you have a state. It could be a good problem because there are people trying to, to, to be able to integrate them together. So you, see, you saw Mohammed Dashway, and Mr. Dashway spoke about the challenges of Israeli Arabs, Palestinian citizens of Israel, uh, becoming part of Israeli society. And did anything from this conversation resonate in your, in your heart, in your soul, in your mind, about what the problems or the issue of going through in Israel as in the Palestinian Israel? Um, or in Arab? That's a great question, and I think it really reaches to the heart of the, the entire trip that JCRC put together and how awful it was put together. Um, I remember on the bus going that the signs were then changed from Hebrew to Arabic, and so that was very noticeable for me. I noticed, um, you know, I always took stock of what is what is the you know the community look like. I'm, I have an economic development head. And, you know, so I'm always thinking, like, what is the disparities, what are the differences? Because again, you can't help but, yeah, as an African American, you know, saying, I'm going to go to this place and identify immediately and think. Um, I, I want to say that all of these spaces were really powerful, but Muhammad was powerful. Uh, I can say a whole lot, but he broke it down. He thoughtfully discussed what it was like, what the issues are, um, but always in a way of, I'm bringing this to your attention so we can make it better. There was no bitterness, it was just, this is, this is what this is, and these are the things that we're addressing um, as, as we move to make Israel the space where everybody can live in. Um, but the one thing he said that I remembered, and I'll pass it on to my colleagues, is that, and this is when I knew that our situation in America was nothing like what's going on in Israel. He said, um, Palestinians feel like the majority and are treated like the minority, and Jewish people are the majority, but worldwide they feel like the minority. And so in our culture, we say, this is how this person moves. <laughs> so if you move like you are the majority, but, you're, but you are treated like the minority, that therein lies an innate conflict. It's, and so I think when we visited Muhammad in, in the um, center there, I think he, that was the table to be set for like a conflict, because we had to really heard of it yet, but he kind of put it on the table like this is where this stems from. And the words he used were thoughtful and intentional, and it really allowed us to start making this picture in our mind as to what we were actually experiencing, what living in Israel, and that identity, how deep that goes, and this is just the beginning of how far the rabbit hole goes. Um, it's up to you. Sure. You're the host. No, I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. I, so I, I, I think everyone really loved Muhammad. Uh, everybody felt uh, a connection to him one way or the other. Um, for, for me, just as a, a lighter note, that was the first point that I realized like, how many cats there are in Israel. Um, and, uh, There's a lot for, of more. For, for Camila and I, that's, that was a lot of fun because we're cat people. Half of our private conversations are about cats. Um, but. That aside, you know, Camila really kind of hit the nail on the head with that observation of the, the majority minority disposition that people feel and how that doesn't necessarily always correspond to the reality of their situation. But I, I think my, my takeaway was, again, having kind of been primed in Haifa to kind of look for similarities a little bit, or at least to be more, more cognizant that they may exist, is that, you know, fundamentally, I think all people want to see at the table. Uh, where government and community is concerned. And, and that was my main takeaway from, from Muhammad. He 
you talked about the community center and the fight for resources and being part of municipal government uh, in, in Excel and the relationships he builds with you know, national politicians and other municipal politicians from other parts of Israel who even outside of um, the areas of the country where there is a, a majority Arab population. And so to me, that to me is the, the central point of what it means to be good in government is that it's supposed to be a convening place. It's supposed to be a place where everyone's interests can be accommodated and acknowledged and, and, and where people can start to find some material progress for themselves. And that to me was incredibly eye-opening and, and, and that was really the message I got from Muhammad about what the Arab community, the Israeli Arab community was looking for as citizens in the state of Israel.